Ukraine Air Force claim up to a dozen Russian jet destroyed in Crimea raids. BBS News. Justin Bronk, an aviation analyst with the Russia think tank, said that having studied social media videos of the incident, he could see no evidence of incoming missile, and that he was almost certain there were secondary explosion of ammunition store or fuel bunkers which were stored on or near the airship. In turn, said it has requested that the issue be discussed by the United Nations Security Council on Thursday, after what it says were struck by Kiev on the facility, the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. The country's air force also said on its Facebook page that nine invaders' plane has been destroyed in a short posting. Although it did not specify in the message where or how it believed they had been eliminated, Ukraine's air force said it believed that up to a dozen Russian aircraft were destroyed on the ground following Tuesday's dramatic explosion at the Saki Air Base in Crimea, which Russia said killed one, wounded thirteen, and damaged dozens of nearby houses. Political sources in Ukraine said the country had carried out the attack, but no public claim of responsibility was made by Kiev of the incidents that one expert believed may have been the product of a daring raid rather than a missile strike. Yuri Ignat, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, told national television that from studying video footage of the incident, it was clear the aircraft weapons depot was hit. G7 Foreign Minister warned in a joint statement that Russia risks the safety and security of the site and called on Moscow to allow safety inspector to immediately visit from the International Atomic Energy Agency, and to hand back the nuclear plant to Ukraine. Earlier on Wednesday, Ukraine said 13 people were killed in overnight shelling near Nikopol, across the river Dnipro, from the Russian held Zaporizhia nuclear power plant at Enerhoder. There will be no stable and lasting peace in many countries on the shore of Mediterranean Sea as long as Russia is able to use our peninsula as its military base, the president said. He said, and if additionally a dozen planes are destroyed there, it will be a real small victory. In just one day, the occupier lost ten combat aircraft, nine in Crimea, and one more in the direction of Zaporizhia. He said, on Tuesday, speculation had centered around whether the airbase had been struck by long-range missile, such as through Ukraine's home manufacturer Neptune anti-ship missile, modified to attack ground targets from the area of Odessa, about 165 miles away. Ukrainian officials have also privately briefed that the attack was carried out with home ground weapons. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.